Welcome to JustMakeGames.com. Today we'll be implementing a third person view for our game and that means we'll be breaking into the C++ code, setting up a solution file in Visual Studio, executing the launcher from within Visual Studio when debugging, as well as having our first map load automatically. I will be using the 32-bit editor and launcher just for simplicity because there have been some problems with the 64-bit launcher. There is a quick fix you can download to use the 64-bit launcher, so I'll post a link to that, as well as point out any changes you'll want to make if you're using 64-bit. Don't be afraid to have multiple instances of CryEngine installed for learning purposes in case you mess something up. And first we're going to want to go into our 32-bit editor and place a spawn point in our map. So under the Objects tab, click Entity, and under Multiplayer, you'll find Spawn Point, and simply drag the spawn point onto your map, which I've already placed one here. And once that's done, you can go to File, generate your surface textures if you haven't done that yet, and then Export to Engine will make your map ready to launch in the launcher. Now to test that your map's working properly in the launcher, let's exit the editor and navigate to CryEngine bin32 launcher application. And once you've logged in and the launcher's loaded, you can hit the tilde key on your keyboard to enable the console and type map and then map name, which mine is Fantasy02. And if you've done everything properly after a minute, your map should load. You can type quit in the console to exit the launcher. Now first to make our map load instantly when we enter the launcher, we're going to create an auto exec config file. So in your CryEngine 3 directory, you'll have a system config file. The quickest way is to just copy and paste this file, rename it auto exec, right click, and I'm going to edit it with Notepad++, which you can download for free, or just use Notepad. And we'll delete everything from this file. And you're just going to want to type map map name. So for me, it's going to be map fantasy 01. I'll save that file, and you can test this by executing the launcher once again. Now we'll set up our C++ solution file in Microsoft Visual Studio. So navigate back to CryEngine 3 and in the code folder in the solutions folder you'll find cryengine game code only microsoft visual studio solution if you don't have microsoft visual studio you can download the free express c++ edition online and it's recommended that you use the 2008 version i'll be using 2010 however so once you have that you can double click the solution and if you're using 2010 you'll have to run the quick conversion and i've already done that now if you're using Visual Studio Express Edition, you may get an error, cannot find afxres.h, and if that is the case, head to JustMakeGames.com's forums, and we will have a compiling C++ code thread in which I'll post the fix for that. And if you're using Visual Studio 2010, you, when you compile, may get a boost folder not found. Um, so to fix that, we simply need to right-click our game DLL, project and go to properties and in the VC++ directory under include directories click the down arrow and edit and you'll want to click the new line folder icon and edit and navigate to your CryEngine code SDK's boost folder not the second boost folder the first one select folder hit OK apply and that will get rid of that error now before we build and debug our code, we'll want to set a few configurations. Right click game DLL and set this project as set as startup project. You'll then want to right click game DLL and go to properties and under debugging, you'll want to set the command path, navigate by hitting browse to your CryEngine 3 bin32 launcher application and the working directory you'll want to browse and navigate just to your CryEngine 3 main directory and hit apply OK. Now right click your Cry Common project and go to properties and do the same thing under debugging set the target path to your CryEngine 3 bin32 launcher and set the working directory to your main CryEngine 3 directory and hit apply OK. 
Finally, you'll want to right click your main solution and go to properties and under conf configuration properties, configuration, check the build for Crycommon and hit apply OK. Now you're ready to build and debug your project so you can simply hit F5 on your keyboard or this green play arrow and it will tell you it's out of date and needs to be built which you can always do by right clicking your solution and selecting build. For now it will build and debug when it's finished building and this will take a while so I will not show this part of the video and when you're done you can continue. Most likely when compiling is finished you will get a PDB file not found which you can just hit yes continue for now and we will address this issue in our forums. And the CryEngine 3 should begin launching automatically. You'll need to log in and our game should load automatically and I did receive a UI settings error while loading which I had to hit escape in order for my map to load so we'll address that error right now. So type quit in console in CryEngine and back in Visual Studio we can use the search feature to find where UI settings is mentioned. Click the binoculars and find all within the entire solution and all places UI settings is mentioned will be uh, brought up down here below and this is very useful for when you are problem solving in the engine to find where things are mentioned. So we could see there is a UI settings C++ file which you can double click to navigate to where this is or you can navigate within your game DLL and find UI settings which I believe will be in the HUD UI settings.c++. Now the error message mentioned line 20 of UI settings and I've enabled my line numbers to be shown by going to tools options and in the text editor under all languages checked line numbers. One technique you're always going to want to use when modifying code is to place a comment by using a double backslash and your signature and that way whenever you want to search the entire solution for any modifications that you've made you can just type your signature here and it will come up in the results and like I said line 20 which is now 21 was giving us the error and I've diagnosed it to be the MP video variable so I'm gonna comment out this line of code and between my signature and the line I'm gonna copy exactly and just delete the two ands and the MP video variable at the end and now you can right click your solution and say build solution and fortunately you're not gonna have to build the entire solution again if you rebuild you will need to but if you just build it's only going to build what's been modified once you build you can debug again and you'll find that the error message is gone and we will discuss why this is happening in our forum now let's add the code for our third person view. You're going to want to navigate under game DLL to the game rules folder and double click game rules .cpp. Now you can hit control F to quickly search the current file and you're going to want to search for C game rules colon colon on client entered game and hit find next and navigate to the code where you see this line beneath the opening bracket I'll paste my commented signature as well as the block of code which I'll put in the YouTube description and on the forums and this isn't a C++ tutorial but I will begin a beginner series if there's enough demand for it but I want to quickly explain what's happening these are the three variables that we're modifying the values for and you can see these variables where they're being referenced from in the game files gamecvars.cpp or you can search for that file and searching for the first one you can see that there are three these three variables are located in the same place and there's a description first one enables third person the second one sets it to true if uh, the control of it is enabled and the third one is for a Gears of Crisis camera mode so what we've done back in game rules .cpp is set the control to true the third person enabled to true and gears of crisis to false and you need to practice setting that to true if you want to enable it and I'm gonna go into very much detail about what all these variables are doing and how to modify your camera uh, set the crosshair off and all sorts of things in the forum but I wanna keep this video under one part so now you can build your solution and then debug it check our forum thread to see our games work in progress and our player model and our player needs a name so whoever can come up with the best name will win Far Cry 1 and whoever can come up with the best name for the game will win Far Cry 2 hope you enjoyed it many more to come